What's up everyone? It's Caveman. I've got another Kettlebell Monday Wad Vlog ready for you today. So today we have three exercises that we're working on. Uh, our first two exercises that we work on are going to sort of tie together and we're going to connect them into one continuous flow in our third exercise. So each, each workout today or each exercise, each station is going to be sort of built on the last. So it's going to be lots of fun. It's sure to get you plenty strong. Let's get right into it. So our first exercise today is something that I call a side swing. So for this, you're going to want a pretty light kettlebell. Uh, we're going to be swinging the weight around with our one arm here. So something that you feel confident manipulating with only one arm is good. So we're going to start with our knees straight, not quite locked out though, back flat, all that good stuff in a typical front swing position. But instead of swinging forward and back, we're going to swing side to side. So I like to uh, bring my feet a little bit more narrow for this, just to challenge the balance a little more. So depending on how, how good your balance is, you're going to want your feet, feet uh, wider or more narrow. Or you may not want them narrow, but if you want to work on balance, this is a good opportunity for that. So, you're in a slightly bent over position, with knees slightly straight, and swinging back and forth. So you'll notice, as the kettlebell comes down, I'm sort of squatting to absorb the force of the fall of the kettlebell, and I use that position to generate momentum to pop it back up in the air. As the kettlebell comes back up in the air, I'm opening my wrist so that my palm is facing forward, and as it comes down, my palm is facing backwards. So we get a little bit of wrist rotation in there as well. So just one more time. This is about what it should look like. You want your arm at about 90 degrees at the top, or in other words, your arms about parallel with the floor. And at the bottom, you want to come into about 45 degrees. You notice I'm also come, trying to do, do my best to squat straight up and down. So you don't want to allow the kettlebell to yank you back and forth the left and right too much. If that's going on, you might need to go down and wait a little bit. So for our second station today, we're going to do a combination of a one-arm front swing and a snatch and a lunge. So. If you're familiar with kettlebells, this should make plenty of sense for you, um, but if not, it will here in a moment. So what I'm going to be doing is a one-arm front swing. I'm snatching it overhead. So all that means is I'm doing a typical front swing. I'm getting that weight overhead, whatever way possible, essentially. But as I do that, I'm going to step back into a lunge, okay? The leg that is forward, so the leg that's staying in place, is this, on the same side of the body as the arm that's holding the weight. This is a little different than overhead one who's and snatches we've done the kettlebells in the past. Um, this is necessary for the flow that we're moving into later. So just remember the forward legs, same side of the body as the, the kettlebell is on. So you'll start with your feet even, step back into lunge so it looks something like this. So now that we've worked on our side swing, our snatch, and our lunge, we're going to combine those three basic movements into one continuous flow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the bell here, and I'm going to do my side swing, but instead of just letting it hang at about parallel with the floor, I'm going to go into a snatch. As I do that, I'm going to rotate on the leading leg here, down into my lunge. So I should rotate 90 degrees, and then as the kettlebell comes down, I'm coming back up into my side swing position. So that should look something like this. All right, guys, so that is it for today's Kettlebell Monday Wad Vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions about this workout, leave a comment in the video below. DM me at TRG underscore fitness on Instagram, or you can email me at caveman at tylerrockgym.com. Also, next time you come to the gym, keep an eye out for this box at the front desk. If you have any questions about the fitness programs and services we have here at Tyler Rock Gym, you can leave a comment card in this box, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. So, with that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Stabilization Tuesday. Hope you enjoy your Monday.